If you saw my shopping video over on the Relic Recoverers channel, you probably came here looking for my haul video. On my haul videos, I talk a little bit about everything I bought, how much I pay for it, how much I think I can get for it. Um, in this case, we spent about three hours at the Goodwill and about $120, but we made it out really well, and I'm gonna tell you exactly why. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Um, one of the items we purchased was this ridiculous hat that I'm wearing on my head that I just had, I, prom I told Andrew that if he bought me the hat, I would wear it in the video. So this is me following through on my promise. Um, but I actually, I posted the hat on Instagram and one of my local friends um, and former coworkers was like, I have to have that hat. So she is getting the hat, <laughs> but I paid $5 for the hat. It's ridiculous, but she has something coming up that just the, the hat's perfect for. So um, the hat is going to her. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny the things I find and you know, people love them. So the hat is one of them. Um, but anyway, um, this is everything that we got today. And I'm gonna go through it real quick. Bear with me because it's late at night, but I, I just, I had to do this. I had to get it over with and get it done. Otherwise, I don't know, but it was fresh in my mind and I wanted to just Get her done. So here we go. We're gonna start at the front of the table and work our way back because we have a lot of stuff to go over. This is gonna be a long video, but I think we can get through it together. I should have made some coffee, but I didn't. But we're gonna make we're gonna make it through. Okay, we're gonna start right here in the front. Now, those of you who are subscribed to Real Nifty Vintage may know what this thing is. Um, now I saw it and I knew exactly what it was because. I watch his videos from time to time. When I have free time, I don't always have free time, but I do occasionally. Um, this right here, you wouldn't know what it is unless you knew what it was. Um, it is a Franciscan Ivy pepper shaker. I know it's the pepper shaker and not the salt shaker. I know you can tell by the number of holes, but honestly, I don't think my family ever had salt and pepper shakers. They had the grinders. We were a grinder family. Um, but the way I can tell is because there's still pepper in there. So, um, this is a pepper shaker. I, just, I scoured the shelves, could not find a salt shaker, but this is a Franciscan Ivy pepper shaker. Fortunately, I did not have the complete set. I scoured the shelves, and all I could find was this little guy. So, um, him alone, he sells for 10 bucks. So, I paid $2 for him. I'm gonna sell him as a replacement for somebody who maybe like threw their other one off the table in a mad fit of rage, so they can replace the one that they lost, okay? Um, moving right along, I got these mugs. I don't know why I liked them. <laughs> They're kind of hunting themed. Uh, they have deer on them and the other ones have ducks on them. I know the camera's really far away today, so it's really hard to see stuff. I'll give you guys some close-ups. I'll do better today. I'll, I'll go in and get close-ups for you and I'll put those in on top of it. Um, but these mugs I liked. I liked the detail of them, so I bought them. There are no marks on them. I can't find any like them, but I like the quality of them, so I bought them. And I believe I paid, you know, they only put one sticker on the four of them, so I had to find the single sticker. Uh, I paid $4 for four of them, so they were about the piece. I think I'm going to ask 15 to 20 bucks for them, because I like them. They're kind of a wildlife hunter themed. I think that's good. I think that's a positive thing. So moving forward, now these mugs, I really, really liked these. And I actually didn't realize that they do have a mark on them when I bought them. They're hand painted. Did not realize the mark, there was a mark because the Goodwill sticker was directly over the mark on the bottom. So as soon as we were in the checkout, I'm scratching off the mark like, you know, they're scratch off tickets. And I'm like, this is so exciting. I'm like, I feel like I'm going to be a winner, you know? So um, <laughs> the lady at the Goodwill, she's like looking at me like, this woman is absolutely crazy. First of all, I'm buying all this stuff. And then I'm like scratching furiously at the bottom of the mugs. And she's like, she's crazy. They're marked Holt Howard, which is great because Holt Howard made these winky Santa mugs and stuff that are worth quite a bit of money. But the thing is, these aren't marked Holt Howard. 
This one is marked Hort Howard, 1965. Um, but one of his marks is HH, that stands for Holt Howard, and this one is marked HH. So they're kind of a contradiction. I do believe that they are Holt Howard. I think they messed up the mark, to be honest. I, I really do. The flowers are awesome. The color is awesome. They're just fantastic. If they don't sell, they're mine. I think I do need to put that disclaimer in my... Somebody suggested, I can't remember who it is and I apologize, suggested that I put a disclaimer in my videos that I reserve <laughs> the rights to remove any listing at any time because I'm including it in my hoard and it's mine. I think I might do that. Um, I bought this little bowl here. It's a purple glass. I believe it's somewhat modern, but it's hand painted and it's just real pretty and petite. And I like that. I like the flowers. I like the gold design. I paid a buck for it. I, I think you could just put a little candle in there or something. I have little um, bobby pins or it's just, oh my God. Oh, good thing those aren't I do this in every video. I just, um, anyway, it's just a cute little dish, so I got that. Um, Drew picked this up. I'm gonna end up like just elbowing these lamps right off the table. Drew picked this up. This is a little, um, it's made in Japan. I don't have my glasses on, of course. Um, this is made in Japan. It's just a little, I wanna say just a little jewelry trinket box made in Japan. It's got a really cute design on there. It's, uh, it's got, it's not velvet lined, but it does have a lining in there and a padding. So I paid $3 for this. I'm um, thinking I could probably get uh, maybe 10 to 15 bucks for that. Now these guys, I really liked, um, they're really hard to see. The, they're square shaped. You can probably see that at least. The bottom is blue, the top is a pale pink. Now, a set of 16 of these sold recently on eBay for $150. More than likely, it's because of the mid-century modern lines and the design of them. I'm thinking I could probably get 8 to 10 bucks a piece for them. Um, they were a dollar for the three of them. <laughs> so I made out pretty good on those. Pretty good profit. Uh, they're not chipped. They're not broken. I'm going to shoot high on those. I'm pretty pleased with them. Now this, <laughs> Drew picked this up. Um, this design is the blue tulip. It's Cronin, I believe, and it was sold by A&P. Uh, Drew picked this up. His dad worked for A&P for a number of years, and he actually has a museum to A&P in his in his house it's pretty amazing someday i'll give you guys a tour of that but uh drew picked this up it's not worth a ton of money paid two bucks for it it's probably worth five to eight bucks not anything amazing uh, but it is pretty i love the color i love the design i told him just throw it in the cart <laughs> uh, probably not the best decision but this is a lesson right here, and just because it's old doesn't mean it's worth a lot of money. That's an important lesson right there. I should follow my own rules. <laughs> now, this is the first thing I picked up at the Goodwill. The very, very first thing. I walked in, I started putting it on the shelf, I picked it up, and I said, Oh, I want that. <laughs> I paid a dollar for it. It's just a cute little piggy planter. Uh, I can see like little succulents growing out of his back. He's just so charming. Um, I'm not sure who made him. Um, he has pottery. Just too cute. No chips or cracks. I saw some online that were listed. Uh, the legs were glued back on. The ears were glued back on. Uh, they were painted and the paint was chipping off. He has no paint. He's completely paintless. He's not chipped. He's not damaged. And he is just cute pig. Wouldn't mind getting stuck with him either. Um, moving right along. Now I got these, this salt and pepper shaker. I'm not really sure about these guys. I paid three dollars. I don't usually buy salt and pepper shakers, but I'm branching out. I'm, I'm trying to get into other things. 
Salt and pepper shakers are scary for me, but I like cats a lot, as you guys probably noticed in my previous video with my awesome shirt. Cats are my thing. If my boyfriend wasn't deathly allergic to cats, I would have seven, at least, maybe more, probably more. A lot of cats. Anyway, so I picked these up, it's two cats in a basket, for $3. And I just thought it was darling. Now somebody obviously cared about these because each of the cats are set in the baskets with um, paper towels. So they don't like knock around and they're like cushioned and safe. I'm not sure how much I can get for it. I'm thinking 10 to 15 bucks. I don't know. I haven't researched it. I don't know much about salt and pepper shakers except that I like cats. That's really all I know about those. Okay, so moving on. We've got these votive candlesticks. Those are brass. I thought at first maybe they were made in India because a lot of the time you'll find this brass and it's usually made in India. I don't know if these are made in India. But they've got tulip uh, shades, frosted tulip shades. Probably little tea lights go in there. They're tiered, um, small, medium, large. They're, I paid a buck a piece for them and I'm thinking I could probably get 20 to 25 optimistically. Maybe 18. I don't know. It's only two dollar difference, but it sounds better. Uh, <laughs> all right, moving right along. So I got this this jar. I paid four dollars for this. I like glass. You guys will notice I pick up a lot of glassware, and <laughs> it's diamond point, uh, like similar to this one. I'm not sure the maker of this one, off the top of my head. I do know that one, but I don't know this one. But I like the green glass. I like, it just, you know, it reminds me of something that would sit on grandma's counter. And that's what I like about it. So I paid $4 for this. I'm thinking 20 to 25 bucks. So I'm making money on that. Okay. Um, now, Andrew picked this up. I have no idea anything about this. But it's um, new old stock, still in the box. Super retro, which is nice. Paid five dollars for it. It is a savings bank. It's got this cool retro packaging, and it's got all these different, um, I don't know, like slots and ones gifts, sundries. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while. <laughs> sundries, clothes, bank, records, records. Gotta save for those records, kids. Holidays, gifts. It's just, it's a, it's so much fun. Um, so, and then you just, you turn this thing around and you move it to the different slots where, where you'd like to save. You, you um, are budgeting your money is basically what I'm saying. Early budgeting for like digital banks and stuff. So, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so Andrew picked this up. We paid five dollars for it. I'm not sure how much it's worth. It'll be on Etsy eventually when I figure out how much I want to charge for it. Now this guy, instant I saw it, my first thought was Yadro because Yadro made clowns. Okay, and it was actually it's actually pretty well made. I'm not gonna, I'm not joking. It, it's pretty um pretty well made. It's not one of those like made in Japan wannabe Yadros. So I grabbed it. And to be honest, does it say Hydro? No, it doesn't. It's just got scratching on there. It had a sticker on it. And to be honest, if it didn't have this tag on it, I, I would have, I, well, I would have put it back because Yadro is usually marked. But I just, I, my first impression was, is that a Yadro on the shelf? And I just snatched it up. But the tag does say Paul Sebastian Fine Porcelain. Feelings. And it's a clown. I usually don't buy clowns. Clowns kind of freak me out a little. He is going to live up here in the office and nowhere else in the house until he's sold. Um, I'm paying 20 bucks for him. That's what I'm seeing them sell for. So I paid $4, $20 on him. So if you haven't already, make sure you go check out the shopping video over on Relic Recovers where we found all of these goodies at the Goodwill. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you've spotted something that you just can't live without, don't worry. I've put a link to our Etsy store down in the description.